So growing up in New Jersey, New York City was definitely like this other world to me, even though I lived only like 45 minutes outside the city. We would only come in here for, you know, maybe at Christmas time to see the store decorations and stuff like that. Definitely first and foremost is just kind of the energy of the city. And you hear that word a lot, talking about New York. And it really is interesting. I go on trips with the national team to, you know, very nice places, Southern California, Florida. Um, but there's something I sort of crave about being back in New York City. And I think that it's just because nowhere else has this, this energy, this excitement. Unbelievable restaurants, so many cafes, so many, you know, new openings of cool places all the time. Uh, food's very important to me, so I love that I have tons of, of new places to try out, and it's been a really fun thing for Dave and I to do. The you know diversity of the people, I think that's really special and really cool. Um, where I play soccer, a lot of times at Pier 40, um, I mean, you, there's probably a hundred different countries represented on those pickup fields. Obviously, as a professional athlete and especially a soccer player, this isn't the most normal place to live. Uh, there's not that many soccer fields, uh, and it, you know it makes training difficult. Off to work out. I'm here at Pier 40. Uh, obviously, there's a ton of snow still on the ground. This is what I have to, you know, deal with training in New York City. It's not as pristine as uh, the Home Depot Center in Southern California, but I love it. This is my soccer home. I don't want to put extra pressure on myself or the team, but this World Cup is so huge. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we haven't won the last two World Cups, and we're definitely hungry uh, for gold. We as a national team have a lot to prove. I think that I have a lot to prove as a player. Um, so hopefully come July we have a gold medal around our neck. I think that this World Cup is going to be you know, a breakthrough for women's soccer. I think it's probably going to be a World Cup that's almost as close to a men's World Cup as we've ever had. I think uh, Germany's going to put on a show. They're going to pack the stadiums. Soccer is so respected in their nation. Uh, they just want to see good soccer. They don't care if it's men's game or the women's game. And I think that that's what this summer is going to bring.